Hello and welcome to the Hoof GP YouTube channel. My name is Graham Parker and this is my shed. This channel follows the life of me, a professional cattle hoof trimmer working in South West Scotland and the animals that I treat who go from being extremely lame right the way through to completely cured. I show you how we go about that and how we go about preventing cows from getting lame in the first place. If you like that kind of thing, smash the subscribe button, watch the rest of the video and give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. So first things first, I had a very, very long day today and I got home to a great surprise. This was sitting on my kitchen table when I got in. Now for you guys, it's just a box, but to me, it's an early Christmas present. Now I'm not paid, this isn't a paid promotion or anything like that. He just sent them to try them out. Now, never mind anything else, the box is pretty smart, to be fair. I've never had a trimming disc in a box as fancy as that. But then look, when we take it out, look at it. <gasps> it's like a work of art, isn't it? So here's the disc I normally use, which is a Trimtech Titan Titanium. And here is Robert's new disc. This thing looks fantastic. Roberto, sorry, Roberto's new disc. There's not that much of a difference. I would say 10 millimeter difference. So this one is 10 millimeters smaller, which might not sound like it matters, but it really does when it comes to trimming feet because it means you can model better because there's a smaller radius here. It means the model is going to be much, much neater and it's going to be a much smaller, more defined model, which is exactly what I want. To be honest, it's that sexy. I'm not sure if I want to get it dirty. I might just put it on the wall. Imagine. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> you guys are like, he's a total freak. But to me, this is like trimming porn, to be honest. Look at it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Anyway, that's enough from my shed. I'm gonna go back inside right now, get some sleep, and I'm gonna see you guys about half past three tomorrow morning. Maybe quarter past. So it's 3.07 in the morning here right now, and I've just had to absolutely peel myself out of bed. I really, really struggle. I don't know how you guys who are daily men and get up at this time all the time do it. Much respect for you for doing it though. The weather outside sounds absolutely horrendous. So I've got like 10 layers on to try and make it a little bit more comfortable. Going down this coffee, jump in the pickup and hit the road and catch up on Facebook. This weather is unreal on this drive to work. To be honest, I could probably have jet skied if we wanted to. Five days this morning, 4 a.m., quarter past four, well, victory. I got them working again! <laughs> Check me out! It's funny getting up at this time of the day. It's freezing cold, everyone else is in bed. But genuinely, what keeps me going and getting me up at that time and getting me out of bed and not minding it too much. It's like coming to work, puts food in my wife's belly and keeps my kids with clothes on their back and food in their tummies too. Which might sound like a small thing to some guys who don't have kids, but to me it's massive. It really is. Right, let's get these ladies loaded. Morning everybody. How are we today? Excited? Come on girls. Come on, out of there. Come on, out of there, come on, come on. I think I've got like 25 maybe. Move it, move it, move it. Move it. 
Why did the crowd cross the road? To get to the other side. <laughs> I don't, I don't, no. Hey, I wish you could see yourself Just sitting there on my chair That's it. Boy, boy. Right, first one. Come on. Yeah, you're first. I don't want to go first. You gotta go first. I really don't wanna. Honey, I'm really sorry. You've got to go because that'll get your feet nice and good. Oh. Okay then. You can go. Go on. Go on. So obviously I've only trimmed four feet. I had uh, a bit of horn in my mouth, didn't I? So obviously I've only trimmed four feet so far. Initial thoughts are it's much, much, much smoother than the trim tech by a mile, it really is. You can model much more precisely and a lot deeper than you can with the trim tech, but you can't use the back side of the blade. Finding that's a little bit of an issue, especially on the front feet so far, but I'm gonna persevere with it, use it for the rest of the day, and then uh, see what the crack is with it then. Next! Forward, please! Forward! Go on! No, love. No, 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 no. You won't fit through there. No, you definitely won't. Go back in. Go on. Silly sausage.
Bruno. So sometimes the glue will fail when you put a block on. I don't know why, maybe it's failed off the hoof or maybe it's come off the block. I don't know without seeing the block. Um, these things happen at the end of the day, you're gluing a block to an animal that's walking around in slurry all the time. So we're just gonna bang another block on there, douse it with iodine again, let her rip. So how's your morning going? Mine's going well actually. No problems with cows so far. Fix my light. Stop raining. Happy days. So I'm at this farm this morning, and like I said earlier, there's like 25 cows to do. Then I'm at another farm that's about 15 miles from here. But I'm not there till 8 a.m. and you probably have about 30 cows to do it and then I should be home for about half one, two o'clock. So I'm gonna leave this for a couple of minutes to fully cure because I really, really don't want it to fall off again. And that should be hard healed. So here's a cow that was in about a month ago. She's got a TP block on here, which is doing an awesome job as always. Um, it's not worn at all, but she's got dermatitis here and she's got dermatitis on the lesion. So dermatitis is attacking what actually grows the horn, mm. so the, obviously the horn can't grow if it's been attacked by bacteria. So that's possibly why it's not healed. Maybe I did a rubbish job. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and trim it up. Right, removing all of this, this horn, we'll leave that in place and we'll keep that dermatitis. this is new horn I need to be really really careful especially around here because it'll be really thin and I don't want to ruin any of the progress that she's managed to make so far so that's why I pulled out a knife Like I said, it's not far off healing. There is a tiny bit of dermatitis which is stopping this from healing and obviously there's a dermatitis there. So I'm just gonna soak it in iodine. Iodine, brought to you by country stores. It's iodine guys, iodine, not iodine. If you're gonna talk, talk right. I was once walking through a supermarket and I overheard a woman shouting at her child If you're gonna talk, talk right! I nearly fell over laughed that hard I get the sentiment though So this is a new product called Bluebug from Agribug 
and um, it's specifically for dermatitis and it's super, super sticky as you can see. So I'm trying this out just to see how she goes. Cows breaking out at five in the morning is not fun. Come on. Go on. Go on. Go on. So that's me finished at farm number one and now I'm headed to my second customer who I should be with around eight o'clock. This morning has been fantastic to be honest, apart from some escapee cows which we managed to get in no problem at all. The day has completely changed, it was bucketing it down when I started or when I was heading to work at least and when I got there and now the sun's coming up and it's a gorgeous day here in sunny southwest Scotland. So I hope you've enjoyed the video guys. Thanks very much for watching again, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Ciao! Now my brains did wait like that Lost my keys, but don't give a shit Cause tonight I can sleep where you sleep From the cave up the stairs with the keys in the light Feel so unreal. You make me feel so unreal.